one of the things I don't think I'd quite banked on was the idea that the play was going to open so, so uh, close to a general election. And a general election in which issues of poverty and issues of the rise of the right, issues of nationalism, were going to be so hot. And it wasn't even a conscious decision to write, to, to try to dramatise the things that are concerning me politically at the moment. I was just trying to be truthful to von Holvarth. But it makes me tremendously excited, actually, that these questions about how do people live in times of poverty, how do people deal with um, uh, the rise of the right wing, what do people do when they lose their jobs, how do people love each other when their money runs out, actually, I think, are very hot questions now. And that they'll be crystallised around the general election, I think, is, is useful. But what's fascinating to me is so much of it so much of the play written then feels timely now. So he's writing about a culture coming out of austerity, uh, dealing with poverty. He's writing about the rise of the right. He's writing about the rise of the right wing. And I've, for three years now, I've wanted to write a play about UKIP, and I've not been able to do it. And then suddenly it feels like this is my play about UKIP. <laughs> so I'm indebted to Odon von Horvath for having the opportunity to interrogate Nigel Farage. <laughs> when I talk about trying to dramatise UKIP or trying to dram dramatise the rise of the right, what I find exciting, although some people might find unsettling in the play, is that there are moments of, it, of, of, there are moments of racism, there's moments of violence, there's moments of uncertainty that manifest itself in aggression. I think Horvath was really timely in being able to articulate that because I think, for me, what sits under the rise of racism is poverty and uncertainty and fear. When people are skint and they're frightened and they don't know where they're going to get paid next and they don't know what's happening in their world when they have that level of uncertainty, I think ideologies that give them the certainty of anger become tremendously exciting. And I think that's when you see the rise of the right.